everyone! How are we all today? Hope we're all doing good. I'll just say hi to everyone who's here. Hi, Miles. Hi, Spike. I'm sure you're probably gone. <laughs> Thanks for dropping by, though. Hi, Keegan. Hi, Gary. And hi, Daniel. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Had a very productive day, which is good. How are you, Keegan? Oh, wait, you already said you're good. <laughs> um... What did I do today? I recorded some videos for YouTube. Um, this editing thing is killing me. I've given up. <laughs> it's too hard to edit videos. I always have so many troubles. For some reason, if I edit a video, YouTube will post it as 240p and I cannot figure out how to fix it. Um, I've tried Googling it. But yeah, <laughs> um, and I also played some Stardew. I'm hooked on Stardew. What did you get up to, Gaz? Your latest Pokemon Snap upload seemed a bit odd. Yeah, see, if I if I edit it, like, because, like, I may have, like, said, done something. Oh, yeah, today's one was the one where I'd been playing an, a ROM, and it said you needed to buy the ROM to play it, keep playing it. And I was like, what? So then I had to find a different ROM that wouldn't do that. So that's why that happened. Um, but yeah, what did you get up to, Gaz? What did everyone get up to? <laughs> it's good that you're still good, Keegan. Um, so I realized this morning that uh, yesterday I've actually... Well, yesterday was um, my month stream anniversary, And I didn't even realize that I've been streaming for a month. It's just gone by so quickly. Which is crazy. So thank you, everyone. Uh, we're at 82 followers, so not far from 100. Only 18 from 100. I'm trying to get 10 followers every week, which is which is a bit ambitious, but I like to be ambitious. And we're actually three subs away from unlocking the next emote. And I still haven't organized the third one yet, so that's crazy. Not much, not much watched the new Mortal Kombat movie. Oh, how was it? Um... I saw someone post that they didn't like it, but then someone else said that they did like it. So what did you think, uh, Gaz, of that movie? But, Keegan, that reminds me, speaking of movies, there's another Conjuring movie coming out in June that we have to watch, Keegan. Hmm. To unfollow, to refollow, to increase the count. No, it doesn't work like that, Daniel. You have to stay following me or I lose a follow. I don't think if you unfollow and then refollow. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Very funny though, um, but yeah. Uh, t so tonight's um Dragon Quest Eleven. I'm excited for that. Uh, we're about to rescue a sister, or look for someone's sister. Create five more accounts just to follow. Yeah, but then it wouldn't be real. I want real follows, not fake ones. <laughs> but yeah, let's let's jump into it. Um, oh, I'm all tangled up here. Too many controllers for different things everywhere. Yeah, that's my that's my switch controller. But yeah, let's let's get started. I hope we're all ready for some Dragon Quest. I can't hear the sound. Why can't I hear the sound? Just wait for it to get started. I didn't really like it. We'll give it a 4 out of 10. Prefer the original one, but I am old. Oh, what didn't you like about it? Uh, I know you wanted it to be, like, sort of funny. Oh, I think I heard that. I hear something. Come on. Hang on. I'll just press start. No, there's no sound. What? Why is there no sound? What is going on? Kano made the movie for me, to be honest. Was that the original you're talking about, Daniel, or the old one? I'm going to say the old one. Yeah, I know. I don't know where the sound is. Um, this capture card has been giving me issues since I unplugged it. There's nothing here that says that there shouldn't be sound. No, the 2021. Oh, okay, so that's the only reason for liking it. I forgot you watched it as well, Daniel. We cannot play this game with no sound. Now, what is going on, Capture Card? Uh, might have to try Google this. 
no sound. Yeah, no, it shouldn't be set to low. Stand by for technical difficulties. Why is there always technical difficulties now? Um, maybe I'll try and plug it and replug it in. I had issues with it the other yesterday with Undertale. Where there was like a sound delay. Now what's happened? Oh. No, don't. I want sound on the emulator. I mean, not emulator. Force of habit. I just don't know why there's no no sound. Oh, hey, Dad, how are you? Yeah, you heard sound because it went to my other monitor. How are you, Dad? I found it a little disappointing. Oh, disjointed. I, I do not want to say too much. Oh, no worries. Oh, hey, Lass, how are you? Thanks for coming by. I'm having issues. My my capture card is not capturing the switch sound, and I don't know why. Where are you, Miles? You might know. <laughs> um. Oh, there we go. Can you guys hear it now? Shake it, that might fix it. I think it would be uh, very unhappy if I do that to it. Yes, oh good, good, okay, excellent. I just had to unplug it and replug it in. You know, standard uh, IT stuff. <laughs> All right, cool, well now that it's on, that is great. Let's, let's go, we're already 13 minutes in, I haven't even started the game yet. So I didn't do any training since we last played. Um, I'm hoping we can get more characters first before I have to do that, but we'll see. Sorry, just got back. What happened? Oh, I had my emu emulator. It's not an emulator. My capture card had no sound for some reason, but I just unplugged it and replugged it back in. So here's our recap, um, which I'm in the way of. I'll just go down. Oh, no. I want. I swear I locked this. Okay. With Hendrik and a horde of Helodorian soldiers hot on their heels, Lucian and, oh, Lucian and Magikarp have hurled themselves through the door of departure and into the great unknown. No, this is not Kingdom Hearts. While soaking in the steam baths of Hodo, they meet a little lost girl called Connie and set out to help her find her father. While searching, they decide to help a girl called Veronica who's lost her sister somewhere. She says she's a skilled magic user from a place called Aborea and that she was unlucky enough to be spirited away by monsters. She managed to escape, but it seems her sister, Serena, was last seen setting off for the monster's den in an attempt to effect a rescue. Fearing for her safety, our hero and Eric, or Magikarp, agree to join Veronica in going after her. And that's our story, <laughs> so far. Oh, thanks for redeeming Fantail Trivia, Gaz. I thought you were going to redeem being boozled. That old man knew you were asking what happened. Yes, <laughs> the old man. Have you played this before, Lass? Okay, let me get the Fantail trivia before we get started. I thought, yeah, I thought you were going to redeem being boozled, or is this a trap? I'm feeling kind tonight. Oh, that's good for me, good for me. Um. Okay. <laughs> we'll see how long it lasts. <laughs> okay. Um. Alright, yeah, we haven't... I don't... Okay, no, we haven't had this one before. Alright. Who am I? Born in Sydney in 1968, he pursued drama at the Western Sydney Academy of Performing Arts. He has starred in a variety of musicals, making fame starring as Peter Allen in the long-running The Boy From Oz. Since then, he has starred in a variety of films including Van Helsing, The Prestige, Real Steel, Le Miserable, I can't say that, Keegan helped me with that one, <laughs> Prisoners, and starring as Wolverine in six X-Men related films starting in 2006. I think it's a lot more than that now. 
<laughs> Chris Hemsworth is yeah, it's, it's Hugh Jackman. It's Hugh Jackman. Good everyone. That <laughs> Chris Hemsworth. Who's that? Les Miserable. Is it Blay? I'm great, just transferred to PC instead of phone. Oh cool. Yeah, the delay will be less um that way. <laughs> Alright. Well, thanks for redeeming that, Gaz. You don't get your points back, though, because you guessed wrong first time. <laughs> Alright, let's let's continue on. I just throw guesses when you state the birth date. Do you know celebrity birth dates? Brutal. I'm sorry, it's the rules. I know I owed someone points, though, but I forget who that was. Alright, well, let's go find this girl's sister. Um, I don't even know where we're supposed to go, so uh, we'll probably be lost again. I think we've... Oh, no, we, we fought some of these enemies last time. So, she'll fight with us, but we can't tell her what to do, which is great. No, I don't, which is why my first guess is always wrong. You've gotten it right before first time round, I think. I didn't even see what happened in that battle. That's why I love auto battle. I don't even have to pay attention. Um, okay. Well, wherever we're going can't be far. Maybe I should bring up the map, but I don't even remember how to bring up the map. No? How do I bring up the no. Oh. I didn't mean to do that. Oh. It's a giant underground labyrinth out to the west. Okay. Alright, that's easy to figure out. M for map. It's a controller. <laughs> it's a, a switch controller. Okay. So... Uh, west. So if we were there, then that means west is this way, which is where we were. <laughs> uh, it's funny that I'm better at not getting lost in real life than I am in games. <laughs> M for map. Hey, maybe it does have an M on it. A. B, X, and Y. No, no M. Why? Did, I don't see a labyrinth over here. Flying birds. So. She's got a- so she's a magic user, so it would be nice if she would actually use some magic. I mean, I don't think we can control her. Forgetting all the but- oops. Forgetting all the buttons already. This is what happens when you- oops, I'm taking photos of nothing now. Oh, okay, why is the map? But yeah, this is what happens when you play multiple different system games. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna assume we can't control her. Is it there? Maybe it's there. Magic Carp is low. Is he? Oh, he is too. This Magic Carp isn't as good as our other Magic Carp. Our Pokemon Magic Carp. I like that Magic Carp better. I don't think I've been fast. Maybe. When I played this, I spent so long grinding this area. It took ages. Oh, I, nice. I um, yeah, I do. I do a lot of leveling as well. Last like a heap ton, but um, I do it off stream because no one wants to see how much I level. I over leveled so badly that when I got the last characters. I was 10 levels higher than them, and I could never get them to catch up, so 
I'm trying not to do that again. Is this the labyrinth? Those who seek entry should visit. Are you are you the labyrinth? Oh, maybe that's the labyrinth over there. I see a thing. Ah, oh, that's exactly how I play. Yes, it's not just me. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed on my YouTube, but I've got like leveling videos. <laughs> Uh, just to prove, particularly for my Nuzlocke, that I'm not cheating. But also to prove that I overlevel a lot. Haha, I love playing like that though. Do you overlevel as well, Keegan? I didn't know you were an overleveler. I can't help it. I mean, it, I'm trying not to overlevel on this right now. I've done one leveling over. I've done one leveling video for this. And now I'm just trying to hold back until I get as many characters as possible. But the issue I'm running into now is I'm running out of money all the time. I got my Pokemon to level 100 in the second area. How long did that take you? I remember now. I remember. That's right. That must have taken you forever. Uh, I don't like how... Hang on. What? I, now that I've figured out how to find the map. Where am I? Okay, we're there. We don't want to go down. Maybe it's the cryptic crypts that we want to go to. Okay, so I sort of was heading in the right direction. Like a month or two. I'm surprised that you did it that quickly. Especially because you're talking about Omega Ruby, right? <laughs> did you finish this game, Lus? I, um... Yeah, I got as far as getting the last two characters and then stopped playing. Um, I intend to keep going this time though. <laughs> though, doing one two and a half hour stream a week on it, I don't know how long that's going to take me. Yep, loved it. The last quarter was a grind though. Oh, really? That's interesting to know. I mean, despite uh, only um, getting as far as the last characters, I did see a bit after that. Um, but then after that, the rest will be a surprise. So I'm looking. I'm most looking forward to the stuff that I don't. The Veronica wins again. All right. Well, hopefully, is Magic Heart blow again, and I'm just not paying attention. No, Magic Heart's fine. Um, we have, we've called Eric Magikarp, by the way, Lus. <laughs> That's a nickname everyone seems to like. Wait, what? This isn't where I go? I almost pressed the screenshot off. Oh, Oops, wrong way. Yeah, everyone likes to call every character in every game I play Magikarp. It's a tradition now. My issue is more not wanting to use items no matter how close to death my character is because I might need it later. Yeah, I know what you mean, Miles. I'm the same. I don't like using items, but because I'm so low level, well, not low level, but because I'm not over leveled, I think I've had to use them. Um, I had to use them in Final Fantasy IX um, because I ran out of MP in the place that I'm leveling at. Uh, wasn't very good for it. There's no, there's no like inn I can go to where I am, or at least not that I'm aware of anyway. Magic Carp. <laughs> yes, Magic Carp, our favourite blue head friend here. And then our, uh, our blob friend in um, Pokemon Sweet. And is there anyone else named Magic Carp? I can't remember. Ooh. Dragon Quest Eleven has the strangest battle theme, in my opinion. Um, eventually, I might mute the battle music just because it's the most repetitive. If there's any criticism I have for this game, it's that the battle music is just the same thing every single time. And it's yeah, it's strange. I don't. I think it's a very boring battle theme. Oh, maybe that's because I've heard it so many times. Oh, heading to the exit already. 
Well, fortunately, I'm good at not getting lost in dungeons. Whack. Let's go. But yeah, see, this is probably one of those times where I'll have to use items. The music reminds me of the old Adam West Batman. <laughs> it is a bit like that, isn't it? <laughs> I'm sorry, this is why I shouldn't be doing this. Can, Can I go faster? Am I too slow? Speed. Oh yeah, it's only on fast. It's not on ultra fast. Did I? Okay, good. Hello, all those enemies are questionable. I knew someone was going to say it. I knew someone was going to say it. Oh no, that, that's enough enemies for now. Oh, after this enemy, that's enough enemies for now. That's the other annoying thing. Even the items that you get, they're not even worth selling. You don't get very much for them. Here I am saying no more badly, and then I'm just running into enemies without thinking about it. Habit. And don't come back. <laughs> I'll never look at those snails the same now. I don't need a ladder. Oops. Easy. How dead are you, Magikarp? Oops. Almost. Oh. I don't like this place one bit. I get the feeling folks come in here all the time and don't leave. I'm telling you, I'm a thief. I know when something's not right. Let's find this Serena kid and then scream. Yeah, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Oh. Well, I guess we didn't really want to come down here. Oh, I think that item revives you if you die. Let's go. Yeah. It would be nice if we could Save our pep power for any boss battles that might be coming. Magic up, please. Well, looks like I'm gonna have to use the ladders after all. Potato. Touch the you get you actually you drizzle. I need to look up how to say that correctly. Thank you, Daniel. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. 
I almost forgot. There's a trap up ahead. I'd forget my shadow if it wasn't so long. It's me! I can't go falling into my own trap now, can I? What would the others say? Right, I'd better go the long way around. That's weird. He's like paper. I forget where he said the trap was. Long way around. No, go away, creepy dolls. One heck of a fountain to be hidden away down here. Oh. Wait, over there. <laughs> Serena, wake up. It's me. Mm -hmm. That's your sister. Serena! We said we'd always be there for each other, didn't we? Well, I'm here for you now. So pull yourself together! Oh, I'm ever so sorry. It's just I... Well, I was so awfully tired after all that searching that I needed a nap and... He? Veronica, is that really you? What in the world has happened to you? But how did you know it was me? <laughs> We've been sisters a long time, you know. It would take a lot more than a new look to fool me. <laughs> oh yes, very funny. What were you doing lying on the ground like that? I, I thought you were... Well, that you would, you know. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt the reunion, but didn't you tell us Serena was your kid sister? <laughs> well, if you want to get technical about it, actually we're twins. But we don't look the same age anymore because, well, it's all a bit complicated. I told you I was taken off by monsters, didn't I? They've been kidnapping people so they can steal their magical powers. Well, I wasn't going to let them have mine without putting up a fight. But the more I resisted, the younger I got. I don't quite understand it, but instead of draining my magic, they drain my... age. <sighs> what I'm basically saying is that I'm not a child. So stop treating me like one! Okay, we get it, we get it. You're not a kid. But you still look like one. Don't you want to do something about it? <laughs> of course I do. Why do you think I brought you here? I want you to help me clobber those stupid monsters and see if we can fix this. You will help us, won't you? I promise to do my bit as well. I have some really rather wonderful healing spells, you know. <laughs> I was waiting for someone to say that. It's me standing next to my sister. <laughs> um, which way did we come from again? Does this heal? Yes. I would just stay young. I was going to say that. I was going to say that too. Why would you want to grow up? Oh, actually, let's save. If they were both short, it'd be me standing next to my sister. <laughs> How tall are you, Lars? I'm five foot. <laughs> and my sister uh, is 
I don't know what she is. Oh, five foot two. <laughs> Short as well. <laughs> but yeah, I, same key, and I would. I, I just. Why would you not? Why would you want to be older? Live longer, yay! Why does it sound so sad? <gasps> I almost forgot. You need a password to get through here. And it was... Um... Uh, uh... It was... This thing is me. <laughs> Humbra Kadumbra. Great password. Someone write that down, I'll probably forget. <laughs> you think that if they wanted to... <laughs> Abracadabra, thanks Daniel. You think if they wanted to make it a sight challenge, they would at least put this thing a couple of rooms away from the actual door. What were we writing down? Yeah, I know, right? Uh, the password. Alakazam! <laughs> Are you potty? You come here and tell Jarvis that you let that lovely juicy specimen escape and you think an apology's gonna cut it? Ooh, this jars. Do you crackpots think sorcerers like Veronica come along often? Do you have any idea what we'll have to do to nab a specimen like that again? Ew. You knew I wanted to drain all her magic so I could earn the Lord of Shadow's respect when he came back. All my plans shattered. Wait, we need to write things down? I didn't know this would be a test. <laughs> yes, that's a test, Miles. <laughs> write down, like, write down the map and the, uh, any passwords that I might forget and anything else you think I might forget. Why is everyone so British in this game? Is this game British? Well, no, Magic Harp isn't British. He's, like, got a New York accent. The Lord of Shadows. Love Jarvis's look. Ew. <laughs> That's them. They're the monsters who jumped me in the bathhouse and brought me here. <laughs> See that jar by the big fat one? That's what he was sucking all my magic powers into. This thing's scary. We better figure out how to get them back. <laughs> Veronica. Huh? Hello. I do love guests. I guess a lot of them are British at the moment. I thought it was based on the areas what they sounded like. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when they bring me presents. If it isn't the one that got away. Talk about it in the jackpot. Because, like, five versions ago, England did a Cockney localization version and the Japanese devs loved it and kept the voices British. Oh, okay. Because I know not all of them sound British in some of the areas, so I just thought they were trying to go with, like, a world thing. Like, you know, different worlds that have different accents, but that wouldn't make sense because a lot of these monsters at the moment in another area have British accents. But, oh, that's caused some fun trivia, Lust. Thank you. Just sit tight while we suck every ounce of magic out of you. Boys, this lot have earned a VIP treatment. Get cracking! I want to kill you. <sighs> Looks like we'll be fighting our way out of this one whether we like it or not. 
<laughs> oh good, we get to fight him. Well, it's a boss battle. Okay. That's me saying that. <laughs> oh, whoops. Eric sounds like he's from Boston. Though. Why did I think it was a New York accent? I'm not very good with accents. Characters to listen to me. Thank you. This is a boss battle, so I should do that. I could be totally wrong. He sounds like a mobster to me. <laughs> I, I'm, I, I know it's an American accent, and I'm just, I'm saying New York, but I could be completely wrong. Most likely, I am wrong. <laughs> It's like at the very beginning, the characters in um, Cobblestone, I can't work out whether they're English or Irish. And those are two very different accents. <laughs> now she's using magic. Oh, no, she's not. Who's, who did that? Are they attacking themselves? Heal Lucian, not Magikarp. Thank you. Not magic card. Watch out! Don't worry, I'm here to help. Good. <laughs> Woohoo! Jarvis and friends are defeated. <laughs> oh yeah. Can I do any luminary yet? Yes. Oh, you've only got five points. That's not going to help. Ugh. Oh, I've never been the Lord of Shadow right hand man if I can't even beat the likes of you lot. Ugh. All my dreams shattered. Sorry, ugly frog. Who is this Who is Lord this of Shadows, Shadows you keep mentioning, keep mentioning anyway? <laughs> You'll find out soon enough when everything finally goes to pot. Excuse me? <sighs> we'll find out we'll find soon out enough, soon enough huh? huh? Right. right. Time, Time to, get to get my, my magic, magic back. back. <laughs> oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Don't let it get away. <sighs> I hope this works. Oh, she's going to grow old again. Oh. 
Or not? But, but you look just the same. We're all our efforts for nothing. No need to worry on that front. I can feel the old magic zinging from the ends of my pigtails right down to the tips of my toes. Then why do you still look like a little girl? Oh. I'm not really sure. I suppose whatever made me younger can't be fixed just by getting my powers back. But it could be worse. I mean, you know what they say. You're only young. Twice. Who says that? Trust you to see the funny side. Well, I suppose I'd better get used to having a twin sister half my size. By the way, you have noticed who we're traveling with, haven't you? You just... we came to you! We've been, been traveling with you! And so have you, it seems. Shall we? Bold Luminary, Yggdrasil's Chosen. Long have we waited to greet you. Alright, that's a bit creepy. That's we got some. Boy, I swear to protect you. While we live, none shall defeat you. Reminds me of The Shining, a bit. There are those who would accuse you of bringing disaster on our world. Please, you must rest assured that they are wrong. You are a hero. The light in your eyes, the light told of in the legends of Arborea, it proves that beyond a doubt. Even creepy with the echo on our end. There's an echo? <laughs> I knew it was you the moment I saw you. So now you oh, have okay. magical twins swearing to serve and protect you? I guess you really are the luminary, huh? Not that I ever doubted it, of course. There's plenty more we need to talk about, but we have to take care of something first. I wasn't the only one they were keeping prisoner, you know. Now, if I remember rightly, there should be a door around here somewhere. I found a door before. Alright, well before we look for that door, thank you for... Yes, I was, I was waiting for them to stop talking for a minute. Miles here has redeemed Review an American Candy, so that's going to be fun. Um, uh, what have I got? Where are they? Oh. Um. Did you want to pick one, Miles? Or uh, should I just go for the first one that I see? Let me know. This will be interesting. My first review. Okay, alright. I'll pick the first one that I saw. Which is, of course... Butterfinger Bites. Something I've never ever had before, ever. Um, can I get this to point a bit more down? Oh, no. My switch didn't like that. So yeah, this I'll be reviewing Butterfingers. I've never had these before. I don't know if anyone here has. But yeah, this is one of my channel point rewards, which is redeeming a, a review in American Candy. So um, I'll try a bit and see what I think of it. Um, but if anyone's had a Butterfinger before, let me know. I'd be interested to know what other people think of it, if I can ever get this thing open. I should have some sort of music playing. Um, I'll just have what I was playing before I started on. <laughs> have you ever had Butterfinger before, Lass? Or anyone? I love Butterfingers. Have you had it, Keegan? Ooh! Ooh, never seen this points redemption before. Yes, it's uh, one of the more expensive ones because I only bought three American candies at the moment. I need to stock up on some. Never even heard of it. Oh, you haven't heard of Butterfinger? Um, I don't know if it's a common one, but I've, I've heard of it before. You won't get fingers on my butterfinger. Is that the ad? 
for it or something? I think they are the peanut butter ones. Oh. They are, they are. Well, I don't like peanut butter, but that's okay. That explains why I've never tried them before. But I'll be interested to see what they taste like regardless. No, it's the Dragon Ball Z bridge quote. What? Why are they talking about Butterfingers? Sorry, this music's probably a bit epic for a Butterfinger review. <laughs> um, okay. I'll just try a little bit. Oh no, it's very melted. I could have done it three being boozled. You could have! Thank you for not doing that. Well, it's all over my finger, so that's great. The bridge talks a lot of strange... Oh, okay, I get ya. Alright, well, let's see. I just muted myself because it was very crunchy. Okay, I cannot tell from your face if you like or hate it. Um, well, I hate peanut butter, and this is very peanut buttery, so I'm not too keen on it. But um, it's actually not that bad. Um, it's sticky as well as crunchy, so it's stuck to my teeth, and I don't like that. Nappa offered to share Vegeta a Butterfinger, he turns it down, then Nappa brings about how delicious it is making all these noises, then Vegeta gets annoyed and chases him wanting the Butterfinger. Who's Nappa? I know everyone else. <laughs> That's funny. But yeah, so... Yeah, I think, um, if you like peanut butter, I think you would enjoy it. Um, there's not a whole lot of chocolate, but these are Butterfinger bites, so I don't know if that makes a difference to the original one. Um... But yeah, very crunchy, very peanut buttery tasting. Not bad though. Daniel, are you swearing? <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, I guess if you like peanut butter. Yeah, it isn't bad, Miles. Um, yeah, if you like peanut butter, I'd, I'd recommend getting the bites. They're nice bite sized pieces. They're about the size of a fantail. So, um, about that size. I guess you can't tell really. They're about, like, a 10 cent piece coin. I don't think there's any Americans in here, so that'll make sense to everyone here. There you go, that's a big quote. Did you look that up, or do you just know that by heart, Daniel? I can't eat chocolate, but I love peanut butter. Oh, yeah, because you, you're lactose intolerant, aren't you? Um, well, there's not a whole lot of chocolate on it, so I don't know if that helps. Very, very thin chocolate. I actually don't taste any chocolate at all. Oh, you're allergic to cocoa. Right, oh, bummer. I mean, I guess if you've never had chocolate before, you wouldn't really, you know, know any different. Looked it up. Okay, I was going to say, but it wouldn't surprise me if you knew the quote off by heart. But yeah, thanks for redeeming that, Miles. Um, I'll, I'll get better with the reviews eventually. Maybe I'll, um, well, I can't write them down because it's my first time trying it. But yeah, crunchy, peanut buttery, very little chocolate recommend if you like peanut butter all right well let's jump back into dragon quest uh we just got the sisters of aboria join us have they joined us yet oh equipment no they have not joined us yet i can't i can eat really little bits but if i eat like a whole fantail i get sick all oh, right well i would say that this has about the same amount of chocolate on it. Well, maybe... I don't know. Yeah, that does suck. I don't know if I'd say... I think it has less Gosh, chocolate than a fantail. Look at all these cells. What a horrid place. Oh, I think we came at a bad time, guys. Hey, who's there? You're safe now. We took care of that potty old fathead and his cronies. Thanks. I owe you one. 
I was starting to worry they were going to get sick of feeding me and decide to eat me instead. You were starting to worry? And what about your poor little daughter all on her own, hmm? How do you think she's been feeling? Oh, I'm sorry, I wasn't thinking. Wait, you know Connie? We do. And she's fine, thanks for asking. The owner of the bar back in town is looking after her. He's a mature, responsible adult, you see. Huh. Whoa. Listen, I appreciate your help, really, I do. I'm Noah, by the way. If there's anything I can do to repay you, just say the word. Veronica kind of looks like the main girl out of Dragon Quest Builders. I haven't played Dragon Quest Builders, but I've seen playthroughs on it. Yeah, she does a bit, actually. Huh. Noah, huh? Where have I heard that name before? Just now. <laughs> oh, look, I've taken up enough of your time. I should, uh, get back and see how uh, Connie's doing. <laughs> Thanks a million. Why did that sound like a lie? Well, he certainly left in rather a hurry. You can say that again. Very fishy. Well, never mind. We should head back too. We deserve a rest. Yeah, seems very suspicious to me. Uh, I'm just uh, gonna uh, check on uh, Connie. Uh, yeah. Lucian and his companions make their way out of the labyrinth and head back to Hotto, where they spend the night at the inn. Oh, thanks for that. Then morning comes. Oh, we're back here again. Just steal people's clothes. I'm going to stalk Lenny and Carl. Oh, yeah, from The Simpsons. <laughs> Funny how the main protagonist always wakes up later than everyone else. Awake at last, huh? Don't worry, we all just woke up too. And now we're up. It's time to continue our little talk from before about Serena and I and how we're going to help you. We have a legend in Arborea. It says that one day the Dark One will descend to extinguish the light, but that Yggdrasil's chosen, the Luminary, bearer of the Mark of Light, will rise to meet him. I have a mark on I my know hand. It's hard to believe. I mean, look at you. But it's true. You're the reincarnation of the Luminary, the man who defeated the Dark One long ago. I still can't work out why they'd need to bring you back if the Dark One was defeated, to be honest. But ours is not to reason why. Once we fulfill our sacred duty and get you to Yggdrasil, I'm sure all will be revealed. Yggdrasil, huh? Well, I for one want to know what the heck's going on. Let's mosey on over there. Have you ever tried thinking before opening your big mouth? No. In case you hadn't noticed, Yggdrasil is floating in the sky. Mosey, he says, honestly. They say that the Luminary visited the World Tree before his battle with the Dark One. But alas, the legends do not tell us how. What? Not even you special protectors of the magical ancient wonder truths know? Bummer. <laughs> Yggdrasil, Yggdrasil, Yggdrasil. Wait, I think I might have an idea. Really? What is it? You know that guy we bust out of jail yesterday? I remembered where I know him from. He sells information to, uh, people in my profession. Oh. You think he might know how we can reach the world tree? Wonderful. Well, what are we waiting for? To the bar. 
Come on, Serena, it's morning. We shouldn't be drinking now. Oh gosh. Uh, bar. Here? No. This is not a bar. Bar. Bar! Come on, Daddy. Let's go. The nice man who keeps bringing you drinks must be getting tired. Just one more for the road, sweetie. You never know. He might have some hot gossip that I need to hear. I do not remember this. Fishing for rumors, huh? Some things never change. Mm -hmm. You're Noah, right? In the circles I used to move in, you were pretty famous. You were the guy who knew things for the right price. No nugget of knowledge too big or too small. Noah the know-it-all knows them all. That's what they used to say, huh? <laughs> What if they did? I can't help it if juicy tidbits have an habit of falling in me lap now, can I? But I don't go trying to get mixed up in this stuff. It just happens. Like when I mistookenly went in the ladies' baths and their monsters they kidnapped me. What? I only stuck me head in there to see what all the commotion was, and there they was attacking some poor girl. Normally, I would have won up the lot of them, of course, but I just had me tea. The villains collared the both of us, and well, I just hope she's all right. <laughs> She... kind of. Anyway, we were wondering if you might be able to help us out. What do you know about Yggdrasil? Crikey! You lot don't do things by us, do ya? Got a big score in mind, eh? Well, seeing as how you saved me life, I'll tell you what I know. On the way here, Connie and me was traveling across the desert. When we came down, we have a bad case of heat stroke. We didn't have no grub left, no water, nothing. we just about given up hope. But then, these soldiers from Galopolis came along. Next thing I know, I'm waking up in the Sultan's Bleeding Palace. Oh, talk about lucky. Anyway, when I come to, that's when I seen it. Beautiful it was. This rainbow-colored branch thing. Oh, shimmery and beautiful. Well, I know top end gear when I see it. If that weren't a branch of the old world tree, I'm a monkey's uncle. Did you hear that, Veronica? A branch from Yggdrasil herself? Yes. Lighting the path ahead for the Luminary. It sounds like we need to take a trip to Galopolis. So it turns out you are capable of having ideas that aren't completely stupid after all. Shots fired. We should head for the desert right away. It's beyond the checkpoint southwest of here. That marks the border with Galopolis. I do hope you won't mind us tagging along. We of Arborea swear to protect you. While we live, none shall defeat you. Please don't do that again. <laughs> and there we have it, our third and fourth party members. Here. You'll need this to get to Galopolis. The guards at the checkpoint are awful sticklers for formalities. 
But if you show them that, they should let us through. Alright, do they have a skill tree? What level are they? 12. Alright, good. So we're on a... We're not too over leveled, which is good. And we're not under leveled either. Yeah, I already know how to use that. Okay. Yes, let's learn that. Well, we need a lot of points for anything. Whip. We won't use whips for her, we'll use wands. Okay, right, we're not far from that. And Serena. Oh, he'll be wands as well. Spears? Why would she use spears? Alright, well, it'll be a while before we can do any more of that. Let's head to Galopolis. I actually really like that place because uh, my favourite character of the game is there. <laughs> He's the best character, I swear. That's the wrong way. What's our money like? Am I in the way of it? Oh, it's up there. That's not a lot. How do I get down? I don't know if anyone else does this, but I can't help but jump like all the way. It feels like it makes it go faster, even though it doesn't. We have a long journey ahead of us, don't we, Lucian? Well, I happen to know a handy little spell that makes life a lot easier. Just give me a minute. Oh, zoom! It's like in Zelda, where you can't help but roll all the way. Yes! Yes! <laughs> you can use the spell I just taught you to travel back to anywhere you've been before. Oh, awesome! I forgot about that spell. That's probably why I don't remember getting lost so much. I probably just use that spell all the time. Alright, now I remember seeing Galopolis on the map. So, let's open that. I wish I could have my horse again. Can I, can I ride you, D? What's up? No, not you. This thing. No. Okay, sweet, so we want to go, yeah, right, that way, yes. I get lost when maps are in reverse. to jump but I can't help it. Oh yay! That's a horse thing! I can ride a horse now!
Oh, this is so much better. Missed me, potato. Alright, well now that they're on our team, this will make things a lot better. Let's go. But that means I have to do everyone's orders separately because I need them to use MP. Don't use MP. Don't use MP. Our work isn't done yet. Oh, I've got to put the speed up as well. I love running around this map, uh, battlefield. It's so silly. Wonderful. Wait, are those things called Trongos? Bongo Donk Drongo. Okay, right. Weird. They said we were going to a desert, but I'm pretty sure this is a desert too. I guess there's some grass. Do deserts have grass? Uh oh. Someone doesn't step in, say, the day Tickington's time is well and truly up. Tick-tock, the clock won't, won't stop. It really is five minutes to midnight. If only there was someone who could come to our aid. Do we have to do this now? No, I can't see. <laughs> this can only mean one thing. You're a hero, aren't you? Oh, tickety-boo, you're finally here and not a moment too soon. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Hero. My name's Ickle. I'm a toggle from over Tickington Way. And we need your help. We're having a terrible time of it at the moment. Can I ask you to come and be the hero of the hour? Fine. We'll do this now. Lucian, are you talking to yourself now? Has the sun gone to your head or something? Well, the clock is ticking. Come on. It's time to show you and your friends the way to Tickington. Follow me. Oh, wait. Before we head off, this might be a good time to record your journey. Yeah, we'll save it. Yes. Alright, come on, blue ghost. Take me there. Now, one thing I forgot to mention about this game before, earlier on, uh, is that you can switch between the original 2D as well but I think in this place you can only play it in 2D so this is what the game originally looked like sort of hold on what happened things went all wavy and suddenly we're in this weird village oh look he's adorable but who is he tick tock it looks like you clocked me too you must be mr. hero hero he's friends what welcome to Tickington a place that's just a little bit out of the ordinary Normally only certain special people can use, can, can see us toggle types, but the second even ordinary folk set foot here in our home, they can see us too. Uh, I think we might need a little background here, like who are you, where are we, why the heck are we here, you know, just the small stuff. How about you start from the beginning? The beginning, yes of course, the beginning. Tickety boo, allow me to explain. We are the Tockles, and we live here in the village of Tickington. It's a very peculiar place where time flows a little differently from the way it does in Erdria. It's our sworn duty to make sure that time flows as it should, 
the, that past, present and future are all in the right order and that all is unfolding as intended. In other words, we make sure everything's tickety-boo. That's not a word. Uh, hang on a tick. I need to tell the mayor you're here. Why don't we let him explain the rest? Just head up the stairs and you'll find him in a very special place we call the echo chamber. So come on, shake a leg. The clock's ticking and there's no time like the present. Watch me get lost. Watch me get lost just going up this path. Oh. Oh, sorry. See, Eric's stopping me from going the wrong way. Uh, gosh, you really are the luminary, aren't you? The mayor's waiting up in the echo chamber and he's ever so keen to meet you. Well, you're in the way. Or is it this way? No, that's that's where they're growing vegetables. I guess it's here. That would be obvious, the one with all the lights and stuff. Tick tock, look who we've got. It's the luminary, and not a moment too soon. Ah, what marvellous timing. Welcome to Tickington. My name is Stickle, and I am the mayor of this fine place beyond space and time. Now the clock is ticking, so I will be brief. My people have a sacred mission, and that is why we've sought you out. Take a look at the tomes that sit on the altars around us. In these sacred vol vol volumes are, ins are inscribed the tales of hollowed heroes from other worlds and other ages. Since time immemorial the duty of my people has been to guard these books and to ensure that the great deeds of the past live on in the present. Oh, I'm like, what books? But yeah, there are books there. That is why we created the place where we now stand, the Echo Chamber, a sacred space where the adventure logs of all the hallowed heroes of old can be kept safe from the ravages of time. Or so we thought, but this holy haven has been sullied by an unknown miscreant who took it upon themselves to tear whole pages from our beloved books and liberally do dab others with ink? I'm afraid I have no idea who committed this heinous crime. Can you use normal words? This is too difficult for me. But what I do know is that as things stand, the heroic happenings of the past being lost forever, history itself hangs in the balance. Which is where you come in. As the hero of your own age, I must ask you to right this wrong. I must ask you to plunge into each of these volumes and set time on the right path once more. But before you dive in, you must first learn the sacred incantations that will enable you to turn back the clock. Past words. Sadly, these were long since scattered across Erdria. This has been so I have entrusted my most dependable tockles with the momentous task of seeking them out. Should you find one of my friends here in the course of your travels, stop a moment and speak with them. With your luck, they will have learned the words that will enable you to journey through the pages of the ages. Password. Ha! I know, so funny! When you've learned one, you will be able to return here and visit the very legends of the greatest heroes known to space and time. Now I'm not becoming confused in my old age. Young Ickle managed to find a password just the other day. Come, my little TikTok type, share what you have learned with our friend. Yes, sir. Tok tick, let's make this quick. Yeah, can we? Now prick up your ears because I'll say this only once. Quick! Write this down! Oh. They're not going to tell us what it is. Why not strike while the time's on your side and take a look, a closer look at the altar over there? A whole new world of adventure waits. Come on, there's no time like the present. Wait, which altar? Which one was it? I wanted to hear the password. Me too! Which... Which one is it? So I need to learn all the passwords and we'll be able to go inside these books. Gosh, I really can't believe we're going to have adventures straight from the pages of story. It's something I've dreamed of ever since I was a little girl. Yeah. What? Yeah, I'm trying to... Oh, is it this one? The glowing one? 
Yes, let's visit. Someone's phone's ringing. Oh. Oh my god, this is so bad. Gosh, we thought the last battle music was terrible. Listen to this. How do we get out of here? Oh, gosh. All right. I, I guess this will help me practice my Shakespearean. Prithee hear my tale, Wanderer. Thou hast wended thy way to the one time dwelling place of legendary bard Galen, from whom our town taketh its name. Alas, thou hast arrived at an unhappy juncture. A foul monster hath had the effrontery to violate the tomb of our most famous son, and hath purloined his most precious possession, the Lyre of Ire. Now that this storied instrument is no more, no mere dusty relic, Nay, tis a powerful artifact indeed, and can cause monsters to flock towards whomsoever giveth its fabled strings the merest brush. The thief knew this only too well, and did strum upon it unlike this peaceful place was overrun by with hideous mo beasts, and the townsfolk had all fled in fear of their lives. Tis surely the end of Gallenholm. This is unless a hero can be convinced to seek out and vanquish the fiend, that dared deprive us of our most hollowed of treasures. Couldst thou be that hero? Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. This music is awful. It is so bad. I feel like I should put something else on. I'm surprised this didn't make the bad video, video game music list. So old school. Yeah, but the old school games I've played have had nice music, not what sounds... Like, oh no. No, no more monsters. I don't, what? Let me flee! The music is just, hmm. <laughs> yeah, hmm, hmm. <laughs> also, uh, Daniel, I realised why there was an echo and I fixed it now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's Licky Tongue with a hat and a paintbrush. What? Why are they so strong? I want to get out of here. I don't want to do this. I hate side quests. And this isn't doing anything for that. Oh, is this the boss battle or something? Why aren't they dying? And why is Lucian so slow? Maybe if you were able to step more than two steps. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, good, alright. We finally killed the first Licky Tongue. I can't even speed this up. How did 
people play games like this back then. Can I sleep? Let me run! I don't want to be here! The start of the music sounds like a dying car alarm. I want to run! What? No, I want to run! <laughs> dying car alarm. <laughs> oh, that's so true. This whole thing feels like a dying car alarm. I want to see if I can get out of here. I can't stand this. This is painful. How do I escape? Where's the escape button? I'm not even going to attempt to flee anymore. I think we're stuck here. I don't know how to leave. Oh, money. Has anyone seen escape button? Oh, I hope that purple thing in the... F in the map over there is the boss so I can get out of here. This was a huge mistake. Quahaha. <laughs> This lie of Ira is hard to beat. I can just keep drumming up new fans. Eh, is that a human? You've come to hear me play, right? What are you banging on about? You want to give me the liar back after all the trouble I went through to snare it? Oh, want him to. Fat chance of that. This thing is great. Gonna play some Final Fantasy VII. Hope you have a good rest of stream on you. Thanks, Daniel. Thanks for the lurk. Have fun playing Final Fantasy VII. I'd play Final Fantasy VII 2 over this right now. <laughs> I'm a bit of a misfit among my bongo banging brethren, you see. My rhythm's all over the place and I can't sing for toffee. Wait, what? All I've ever wanted is an audience that appreciates something a bit different. If it sounds anything like this, I don't want to hear it. Now all I have to do is strum the lyre and a whole bunch of alternative music fans shop to kick it with me. I've never had so much fun. So if you're going to try and make me give it back, I'm going to have to beat you black and blue. Drum roll, please. Oh gosh. Veronica Hill Magic Harp. Oh gosh. This is the worst game music I've ever heard. It's terrible. has fallen over. Why is he fallen over? Oh good, that thing's gone with. I don't want to hear this anymore. The monster who stole the Lyra of Iris no more. Go and give the old man who asked you to get it back. The good news. Good. We actually took more than two steps. 
Are the monsters gone now? Hi. Yes. Praise be, the lyre is returned to us and the townspeople who fled can return home once more. Words cannot adequately express my gratitude, but perhaps this can. Ooh, gold bracer. It must now be laid to rest beside he who once ecked such sweet music from its strings. Yes, tis thanks to thee that those of generations yet to come might seek out our greatest treasure should ere the need arise. Posterity will thank thee, friend. See, that's nice music. How do I get out of here? Oh. That's all I had to do? I'm never going back to that town again. Ah, so you've returned. And what tales do you have to regale me with this time, hmm? Very awful battle theme music. Terrible, just awful. Goodness me, Gallenholm was besieged by monsters, you say? Hmm, perhaps these are merely the musings of an old man. But I have a feeling that the Vandal who defeated our, who defaced our beloved books may be attempting to rewrite history itself. But as long as you are able to visit each of the heroic ages and right the wrongs that have been wrought here, the proper flow of time will be restored soon enough. In which case you'll need to continue to seek out and speak with the Tokkels who are travelling the length and breadth of Edria in search of past words. No! I'm not doing that. Not if it's like anything like that. Stickle. <laughs> the more of them you learn, the more ancient ages you will be able to visit. No, I don't want to visit them. They're too painful. If anyone can find them all and put things right, it's you. It's time for you to shine, dear hero. Nope, I'm leaving. As Tuckles, our sacred mission has always been to ensure that the great deeds of the past remain intact for the sake of the future. But we need your help. Please, history itself hangs in the balance. How did this game get anywhere with music like that? You know, when you compare it to Final Fantasy, Chrono Trigger, Mario RPG... I mean, this game is probably older than those, maybe. Oh good, let's get out of here. I miss the old battle music. Back to normal land. Go away, I'm never talking to you ever again. No, no passwords, no nothing. We got we're going and you took my horse away. Where's my horse? Halt, none may pass without him a pass. <laughs> Show the card your pass. Mm, very well, everything seems to be in order. Through you go. What? Through you go? Why does that sound weird? Through you go. Go through you? No. It sounds weird to me. Great, now we have to walk the rest of the way. See, this just looks like the last desert. I don't see a difference. This is where we need to go. If you were playing it on an emulator, I would be convinced it was an em emulator issue causing the music file to mess up. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? We were on yesterday's stream. Were you there, Miles? I can't remember now. But we were playing, we were listening to awful, bad, like, bad video game music from the past. Like, people were deliberately looking up bad music and getting me to play it. Also, all the town music sounds the same, by the way. <laughs> but yeah, just... 
I thought those tracks were bad, but I've got to play this for for Obi. Yeah, you were there. Okay, I know you were there at some point, but I don't know if you were there for the bad video game music. Oh, just look at all these people. How marvelous! Is there some kind of festival going on? I wonder. That's the opposite reaction I would have. Kingdom of the Desert Knights, isn't it? And of the racetrack where they love to compete. I think we've arrived in town just in time for the horse racing festival. Well, you go play with ponies if you like. I'm off to look for the Yggdrasil branch. That's why we're here, in case you've forgotten. Okay, Mr. Sirius. Oh, let Mr. Moody no fun go off on his own if he wants. There's nothing to stop us having a little look around while we're here. Where's the shop? I need to buy equipment I can't afford. Hello. Souvenir. gosh we have money for two weapons <laughs> I'll have to come back for those I'll, this week I'll have to do some uh, battles off stream just for money really it's the shop owner a wrestler there's actually a lot of characters in this game that have that that look <laughs> but yeah he does look a bit like a wrestler um, where am I going? Something about ponies? I want to go in there. Hi. Oh, there's no... I want a ticket. Wait, we should go to the castle. That's where the branch is. If I can figure out where the castle is. I see the castle. At least, see, that other town was so confusing. At least this makes sense. Back to graphics again. Yes, yes. I. That was just painful. The music was painful. Stopping every two seconds for a battle was painful Charlie's here about to be painful are you coming up Charlie? come on oh oops I left I didn't even realize don't ignore the rabbit Uh, oh, the castle's here, I think. Can I go in? Oh, no. That's the race place. Look, see, there's another one. Yep, Charlie's here. Hi, say hello, Charlie. Hello. Okay, I'll leave you alone now. He's not happy I did that. <laughs> Is that the castle? Can I go to the castle? Oh. Oh, maybe the castle's up there. It's Charlie! Almost. More white.
<coughs> Fellow Gallopolitans, this is no ordinary sand national. This race marks the day that Faris, my son and heir, comes of age, and as such... No, no, no! An event of such significance must have eloquence to match. Such functional pleasantries will not thrill me. Oh, no worries, Kagan. Have a good sleep. Thanks for coming by. Hope you have a great day tomorrow. What are you looking at? Hmm? And who Thanks, exactly Kagan. You be? I have no time to grant an audience today. You must leave. Immediately. <laughs> Father, my training is complete. Look at that hat. <laughs> then give me the pledge. A knight's word is his bond, his kingdom his master. He serves the weak untiringly, challenges the strong un unflinchingly, ha, and never retreats in the face of adversity. Ha. Mm, yes, very good. The knight's pledge must always be your guide, my son. <laughs> hmm? You are a man now, Faris, and tomorrow's race shall prove it. You must show your people that you are worthy of their adulation. Fear not, beloved father. I shall disappoint neither you nor they. Stranger, and what brings you to Galopolis? Hmm. Surely he speaks of the rainbow. It is the only treasure of our kingdom that would warrant such a description. Rainbow? I believe I can assist you, friend. Visit me in my chambers at the foot of the great staircase. I shall await you there. Maybe he'll give it to us. <laughs> Wait, what? I think I've gone too far. Drake. Oh, there he is. Ah, you came. Thank you. Mm. No. Mm. Yes, yes. Your height and physique are perfect, and you have the face of one who knows horses. <laughs> what? <clears throat> you should be aware that the branch you seek is a priceless royal treasure. My father is unlikely to give it away freely to some <laughs> wandering stranger. However, he might be persuaded to part with it if the request came from his beloved son. I have but one small favor to ask in return. <gasps> but the palace walls have so many unwelcome ears. 
Ah, the noise of the circus will protect our privacy. Will you join me there? Yes. Then it is agreed. I will meet you at the entrance to that ridiculous tent this evening. Do not be late, please. Bossy. Is it afternoon yet? Let's head to the circus. I mean, they sort out a ticket, so I don't know how we're going to get in. Where are you? Oh, right there. Easy enough to find. I disconnected for a little while. Yay, we're here at Galopolis. Yes, we're about to meet my favourite character in the whole entire game. I bet you know who it is, Lars. <laughs> Did you disconnect when we were in that Tickington place? I would disconnect there too. That was awful. Yes, <laughs> I love him. <laughs> Um, okay, I forget we were meant to meet this guy. We're meant to go to the circus. I need a ticket. Oh. Oh, wait, hang on. we got to make it evening. Where's the inn? Are you an inn? Yay! Uh, until... Noon? Noon means afternoon, right? Oh, I'm so excited to finally see him. Is this noon? Does this count as circus time? Oh no, alright, we've got to make it night. Yeah, okay, I'll spend more money. I swear he said noon, though. Yes, I had fun sleeping for two hours. Oh my gosh! <laughs> it's a raid! Sorry! My raid song is very long! <laughs> Hello little Joe! Hello Firefrog! Thank you for the raid little Joe! From New Zealand! I'm from Australia! New Zealand's beautiful, I wanna go there. You can't hear the raid song. Oh, really? Okay, so I just sit here staring at the screen thinking that the raid song's going off. How are you? Thank you for raiding me. How was your stream? What were you playing? Hello, Maya Cavoodle. Let me give you a follow. Excuse me, I'm still... Well, I'm a month into streaming, but I still feel like I know so little of what I'm doing. Uh... It's, I can't copy in Streamlabs. But yeah, thank you for coming. We're playing um, Dragon Quest XI. This is my fourth uh, um, episode of this. I've played it before, but uh, only up until the last characters. Thank you for the follow, little Joe. Good, thank you. We were playing Soma Horror Game. Oh yeah, I know Soma. I've never played it before, but um, I've seen it. And just finished it and moved over to Dragon Quest XI too. Oh, awesome! Oh, Dragon Quest XI is such a great game. I've, uh, yeah, like I was saying before, I've played it. Thank you for the follow, Micah Voodle. Sorry if I'm saying names wrong. Um, 
yeah, I've played up until you get the last characters and then I stopped for a while due to an injury. But uh, back at it, starting again fresh. Very excited to play through it. We're about to meet my favourite character. Um, have you played it before at all, Little Joe? Or is this um, will this be your first time? Cool. Can we just walk into the circus? Oh, he's hiding. But yeah, thank you again so much for raiding. I'm Steamy Bonbon. Bon. Like I said before, I'm Australian. Uh, re very new to streaming. Only a month in. <laughs> oh no, I hope the injury is recovered. I've played some of it on Switch about 20 or so hours. And now playing it on PC via Xbox Game Pass PC. Oh, nice, nice, yeah. It's just a uh, a uh, wrist injury carpal tunnel. Um, it's, it's progressing well, so... Uh, just difficult for me to type mostly at the moment. But apart from that, all good. Um... But yeah, wow, 20 hours. So how far in is to that? Did you see, um, did you get the whole party? I'm not sure how many hours I played because I tend to overlevel a lot, but I'm trying to overlevel off stream because watching someone run into battles over and over again isn't the funnest thing to see. <laughs> but yeah, very excited to get my favorite character now. Yeah, about the same as you just got the whole party. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah think I got distracted by other games. It's so easy, especially when there's been so many good ones coming out lately. But thank you so Ladies much for the and raid. Gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for the act you've all been waiting for. The wandering wonder who amazes audiences wherever he goes. Prepare yourselves for an experience like no other Prepare yourselves for the Great Sylvando! Here he comes! <laughs> no worries, I wanted to rate someone, either Kiwa who was playing the game as well. I saw you were Aussie playing and it's just a... <laughs> Bad version of New Zealand. So close enough. <laughs> it, it is, it really is. I agree with you. I would rather go to New Zealand right now. I'd rather be living there. We're, we're just terrible at the moment. Don't come here. <laughs> or if you do come here, go to Melbourne. Don't go to Sydney. Sydney's ugly. I live there. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. Hey, Zoe! How are you? Thanks for coming by. You're just in time. We're meeting my favorite character in this game. Oh, thank you for the follow, Brujabi. I hope you're doing well. Ladies and gentlemen, please. There is no need to be afraid. The great Silvando will never endanger his adoring audience. After all, darlings, you are the ones who make this show so special. I love you all. Thank you. Thank you! I wish I could chuckle like that. Me too! <laughs> Quickly, we must talk while the people are distracted. And please, not a word of this to anyone. Ooh, suspicious. A good thanks, just had tafe and dinner. Oh, nice! How was tafe today? Was it better? And how was your dinner? What did you have? I had a pizza pocket. <laughs> Very interesting. Now, as you may be aware, the Sun National is the most important event of the year here in Galopolis. I tomorrow, wish I could throw knives like that. I am due to make my debut in the race to end all races. However, there is a problem. One teeny tiny terrible problem. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lass, I have to agree with him. I am. Um, I mean, we're all okay, but if I had to choose between New Zealand or, or Australia, I'd say New Zealand, even though I've never been. <laughs> Unless it was Melbourne, then I'd choose Melbourne. My housemate has been to New Zealand. He agreed to. Yes, yeah, see. I cannot ride. In fact, I have barely so much as sat in a saddle. New Zealand has Hobbiton. That's the Lord of the Rings thing, isn't it? What? I have so far been able to hide this uh, unfortunate fact, but if I were to take part in the race, the inconvenient truth would surely be uncovered. 
And yet I have no choice for a prince of Golopolis not to take part in the Sun National on the year of his coming of age is unthinkable! Unthinkable! He's a prince and he doesn't know how to ride a horse. Was good. Had my red pepper pasta. Oh my god, one pizza pocket. I'd be starving. Oh, I had vegetables with it. You know, cauliflower, broccoli, carrot, my favourite. Oh, I need to. I need to give you money to make that for me again. I want that so bad. Oh. So you see, your coming here was fated. It is a sign. The forces of destiny mean me to use you as my double. Ta da! Your Clever. double. How's that gonna work? Won't everyone notice as soon as he walks out onto the track? Ah, the fates have provided that also! For you see, the royal family always races in full armor, lest the unthinkable occur. His face will be hidden from view! Clever. Oh, please, please! I beg of you, you must help me. You must enter the Sun National in my place. Oh, thank you, Zoe. But yeah, how was Tafe? You are the most pathetic oh. excuse for a prince I've ever seen. Was well, that what you meant by was good? You lie to your people. You've got another thing coming. Come here, Charlie. Is that so? Then I assume that your need of the rainbow is not so great after all. Wow. Talk about shameless. Call me what you will, it changes nothing. You will do as the fates wish and take my place in the race? Tape yes. was okay, boring until after break and finally had something to do. Oh, nice. Yes, Team Charlie. Say hello, Charlie. Hello. <laughs> okay, we'll do the race for you. <laughs> I knew you would see sense in the end. Thank you. I will talk to my father about the rainbow as soon as the race is over. You have my word. Sure. I took the liberty of arranging rooms for you at the inn. Rest well. I will see you in the stables, bright and early. He is fluffy. You will find the stable entrance in the western part of the city. Do not be late. Now, I must be on my way. Farewell, friends. We're friends now? <laughs> Oh, there's the real star in the background there. Oh, I probably should have paid attention to the directions that he was giving me. Oh, well, we'll find the place we need to go eventually. I love Silvando. He's the best character ever. Uh... Oh, stables. I think we passed the stables earlier. I think around the side of the middle thing. Yeah, yeah, somewhere around here. You should have seen how lost I got when I was um in Hel Heliodor. It was terrible. Just terrible. On the left. So, this left, right? This is left? I believe the pink marker is an indication of that. Prince Ferris says His Highness is there. Is he... Yeah, alright. Yeah, cool. Excellent. Thank you. Alright, where are you? Hi. Yes, we're ready. Let's go. Charlie, what are you doing? No, don't play with the plastic.
It's as if they were made for you. No one will suspect for a moment that you're not, in fact, the Prince of Galopolis. Now the race is about to begin. Oh, Charlie, no. No, don't eat the plastic. Anyway, Steamy, I have to shoot off as I'm very sleepy today. I've given you, your Twitter a follow. Good luck for the stream. Take care. Thank you so much again for the, the Ray Little Joe. Have a great sleep. I'll um, follow you on Twitter as well once I get my phone. <laughs> But yeah, thank you again, and have a really great sleep and a great rest of your week. Yes, I'm the prince and we're going to ride the horse for you. Wait, what? I should really pay attention to what he's saying. Okay, where's the horse? Oh, I'm, I'm already wearing the armor. I didn't even notice I was wearing the armor. <laughs> Alright. Gallop. Whee! This is the entrance to the track, Your Highness. Up your preparations complete. Yes, I'm totally the the prince and I have the same voice as him. Charlie, what are you doing? He's behind my monitor again. What are you doing? <clears throat> Hello, Galopolitans! This is... Uh, no ordinary sand national! Uh... Hooray! All ahead! Prince Varys! The way she said that sounded like she'd been paid to say that. No, 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 no plastic, Charlie. Prince Varys! <laughs> oh, such a fine figure of a man! Things you'll do for a tree branch. It must be wonderful to be so popular, darling. But of course, you are used to it. Being a real live prince, huh? The name's Silvando, by the way. One of the other riders had a little whoopsie, so I had to step in at the last minute. How can you not I love him? I'd be going easy on you just because you're royalty. Where would be the fun in that? Try to keep up, little princey. I'm on to you. I just remembered I actually have to race. <laughs> And last time it took me three tries to win it, but I, I restarted, and I don't think I can restart here. But that's fine. He's great! I love him! He's the best character ever. Don't at me. Alright, so normal racing stuff. Oh yeah, I've got to hold the speed up button the whole time, and I only just started doing that. Oh no, hang on, we've got stamina. I forgot, we do have stamina. Hey, who put that there? I recently played Mario Kart 8 with a friend and found out how bad I am at Mario Kart. <laughs> how do you not run into walls? Gosh, we're not even close to getting first.
probably should have read the instructions for this. Oh, that was bad. That was really bad. Didn't even come second. If I'd have remembered that race, I would have practiced somehow. <laughs> Done. You are most talented. A far more natural horseman than I had anticipated. <laughs> now quickly, my public await. I shall take the reins from here. <laughs> yes, of course. Take all the credit for my third place. Say not, my friend. I have not forgotten my promise. I will discuss the rainbow with my father just as soon as my people have finished showering me with adulation. Oh, come down. <laughs> That's me on a horse. Praise the fates. Our plan was a success. Thank you. You have spared me great humiliation. <laughs> I will go immediately to my father and ask about the rainbow. <sighs> All hail Prince Faris, pride of the desert, horseman extraordinaire. Darling, you are fabulous. It was enough to bring a tear even to my jaded eye. Uh, 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 <laughs> Wait, don't tell me you were... <gasps> Surely you didn't let your understudy take the stage for the command performance? <gasps> oh, this is too, too good! Wait, wait! But you do not understand the pressure I am under! A prince of Galopolis who could not ride a horse is a disgrace to the kingdom! I did what was necessary for the sake of my people! And now, all can be forgotten. Why didn't you just yes. deny it? And there was silly old Silvando thinking that knights never retreated in the face of adversity. Silence! I am the prince of this kingdom, and I will not have a traveling jester lecture me on chivalry. <gasps> a thousand pardons, your highness. Why did the door shut? <gasps> Whoa. Enter. The Sultan wishes to see you, Your Highness. Your magnificent display of horsemanship has pleased him greatly. We came third and ran into Very walls. good. I will come right away. He's easily impressed, obviously. My promise still stands. Come to the throne room in a little while. We will see what can be done about this branch of yours. So nice to see a royal with the common touch. You were wonderful out there today, darling. Maybe we'll get to share the stage again soon. <laughs> My best character ever. Alright, well I wish I could redo that race, but... Nope. Okay, well, back to the castle we go. Which means me running around in circles. Trying to remember how to get up. Oh, okay, that was easy enough. <laughs> G 
kitties! Look, Zoe. Drake Jr. Oh, not quite Drake. Oh, wait. Isn't Glenn's cat like that? Bones. Then we have Charlie. Sort of. Needs more light. I'm collecting channel points until I get to opening a Pokemon piece back. Oh, thanks, Lars. <laughs> yeah, I made that one high because I've only got so many uh, of them lying around. <laughs> Truly, I am humbled. All I have ever desired is to fulfill my duties as a prince and as a knight. <laughs> oh. Jeffrey's going right. Oh, okay, all right. I said bones, oh. didn't I? Father, if I may, I have promised to assist these travelers. Would you permit me to explain? But yeah, uh, Lass, that your recent video, that's actually the first time I've seen cards other than Hidden Fates and Shining Fates being opened. And i got to say, I like the artwork better in the other, well, better than what Shining Fates is, but only because there's so few cards in Shining Fates that aren't. You know, shiny or rare. Gladly, my son. It warms my heart to see you aiding those in need. Truly, you have taken the knight's pledge to heart. Thank you, father. <laughs> the truth of the matter is that my friends here have come to Galopolis in search of the rain. <sighs> Your majesty. Oh no. The beast has returned. It attacked one of our men while we were out on patrol. Yeah, I always find that after I've opened a set for a while, I need to open something else to enjoy some other art. Yeah, the thing with Shining Fates is it's like the same ten cards over and over again. Like, Snom on a Bench, more Peko, two different arts of that, Toodle. It's just so boring, and I know it's because, like, it's all about the Shinies, but I wish they could have had, like, both. The Slayer of the Sands is back! Why must the accursed creature always appear on this, the happiest day of the like, year? a mix of shinies and different cards that aren't rare. <laughs> we will stand for this no longer. I must dispatch my finest knights and ensure that the fiend never again returns to terrorize the celestial sands. But wait. My boy, the fates are speaking to us. Capturing the Slayer would be the perfect way to show your people what a fine knight you have become. What? B b b but, but, oh, father, <laughs> so many of our bravest men have confronted the creature and perished. <laughs> Surely, <laughs> I do not stand a chance. Of course you do. You're the prince of wherever we are. <laughs> Truly, it is the most able who are the most humble. But you cannot hide your true feelings. You are trembling with excitement. <laughs> I believe that's fear. This is your moment, Faris, my boy. Capture the Slayer and take your place in history. But uh, I... I... Oh, very... Very well, Father. <laughs> Yay! I shall begin my preparations <laughs> Yay! right away. Oh. Charlie, no. No plastic. Are you alright there, dude? A thousand pardons. The, the rainbow will have to wait. Uh oh. I guess he can't fight either. Oh, 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 please, please, I beg of you, the slayer of the sands will tear me limb from limb unless you aid me. Have pity on the desperate soul. <laughs> Spoken like a true desert knight. Seriously, can't you handle this on your own? Oh, Benny, thank you for the um, sub. How are you? Hey, how are you going? 
You haven't streamed in ages. I miss my Rust streams. And the adventures of T-Boy. I'm still upset about T-Boy. How are you? You're up late. I think it's late where you are. Or early, like 5am or something crazy like that. But thank you again for the sub. We're just playing some Dragon Quest XI. No. no, such a thing is impossible. I am no knight. I neglected my training. I allowed my vassals to fight all my battles for me. <laughs> oh, it is not my fault. I am an only child. I was coddled from birth and praised for the most insignificant of achievements. I mean, at least he's admitting it. 6 a.m. Oh, okay, I thought it was early. What are you doing up early, work? Oh, that's good. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. We just met my favorite character in this game, not this guy, so I'm all, like, happy. Because <laughs> I love him. He's so hilarious. Uh, but I hope you had a good sleep. Unless you're a night shift worker. I did not wish to disappoint my parents or my people, so I, I, I found ways of, of seeming to fulfill their expectations without necessarily doing so. Oh, that's funny. But the more I fulfilled them, the more their expectations grew, and now finally they expect the impossible. Oh, oh, oh it's so unfair. That was your mistake, dude. Don't you see? If you refuse to help me, I will be sent to my doom. And through no fault of my own. <laughs> Please, will you take pity on your old friend? <laughs> Heading out of town, getting an early start. Glad I finally caught one of your streams. Yeah, thanks for coming by and thanks again for subbing. You didn't have to do that. But yeah, I usually um, stream around this time. Uh, 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 my Monday, which is your... Well, I guess it's your Monday now, isn't it? <laughs> and then Wednesday and Friday. Poor Ferris. He asked for it. He, he dug his own hole. Should we help him? I don't know. I don't know if I feel like helping him. I mean, he has to learn to stand on his own two feet eventually. Right? Oh, but look at that face. Okay, all right. I'll help you. <sighs> oh, thank you. 10,000 thank yous. <laughs> and fear not. I will speak to my father about the rainbow as soon as the beast is captured. I feel bad for him too. <laughs> Come on, look at that hat. How can you refuse him? <laughs> that is true. It is a, we we a must good hat. We preparations to depart immediately. I will await you at the castle gates. But what's he... We're never going to be able to leave if we're helping him race with horses and fight battles. This is... We're going to be stuck here, I think. What a pathetic excuse for a prince. Goodness knows what will become of Galopolis with him in charge. Oh, we mustn't be so hard on him, Veronica. I'm sure it can't be easy growing up with everyone expecting so much of you. You can tell which one's the nice sister and which one's the not nice sister. <laughs> um, okay, where did he say we were going? Charlie's leering at the rabbits again. See? I wish Heliodor Castle was a bit more like this. Very straightforward. Just a straight run. Little cat guides. None of this all over the place business. us to go to the front. So we'll head on over there. There he is. 
Ah, there you are. I've instructed my men to wait outside the city gates. Come and join us as soon as you're ready. Oh, okay. Why are you standing there just waving? Gotta go get ready. I'll be back. Oh, no worries, Benny. Thanks again for stopping by. I hope you, uh, have a safe time out I of town. I disrespect, Your Highness, but how could you do this to us? You have volunteered us for certain death. Look, he's dragging other people into this. Fear not. Trusted retainers, we do not journey into the jaws of danger alone. Ha! Ah, impeccable timing as always. Allow me to introduce our knights in shining armor. These brave adventurers have agreed to capture the Slayer for us. Now, the beast lair is said to be located deep within the celestial sands. The fastest route is through the checkpoint to the west. We march immediately for Galopolis! For Galopolis. Yeah! <laughs> Yay! <Yeah>. Woo! <laughs> Room for a little one? Oh, I'd hate to miss a good beast hunt. Huh? You're not little. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> There's no such thing as a good beast hunt, Frank. If I were you, I'd run along back to the circus. Hey, buddy, yes! Sylvando, the greatest character Aren't ever. Aren't you just a lovely, patronizing little deer? Look, I'm worried about the half-wit prince getting himself killed. Can I come with you or not? There's no questions. You have to come with us. Hmm. At least one of you has some sense. Lead on the... Oops. Ow. I always forget pressing up skips the dialogue. The game looks very beautiful and the music is so cheerful. Yes, it's such a great game. Highly recommend that if you don't have it, you get it. It's so good. Hello Darkfire, thank you for the follow. How are you? My name's Steamy Bonbon. We're uh, just playing some Dragon Quest XI. Uh, let me know if you've played this before. It's such a great game. I was just uh, saying, like, I love it. Um, and the best thing about it, right, is do you hate random battles? Well, you know what you can do? You can have the game play random battles for you. Look, no hands. I'm not doing anything, not touching. And this is my favorite thing about the game after Sylvain. In fact, I don't have to fight the battles if I don't want to. I played every Dragon Quest. Oh, nice! Did you play um, the original of this, the 2D version? And if so, um, I'm giving you a lot of points for that because that, uh, that's hard. We did the, uh, bit where you go to TikTok Village or whatever it is before and you dive into the tomes and, ter like, the music was not too good, <laughs> at least compared to this anyway. And then, uh, the battles, every two seconds was a battle. So, uh, this, this, uh, new version has spoiled me very much. The only other Dragon Quest that I've played is 9. Um, I played it a little bit on DS. Or 3DS, rather. Uh, didn't like it as much as um, this one. Yeah, not a lot of people like the 2D version. It's just... The music, like, when you compare the music in that to this, and then, you know, being able to, like, dodge battles and stuff, that, that's mostly why. I'm sure it was great for its time. Because Dragon Quest is very, very old, isn't it? It's like even before Final Fantasy 1, I, I believe. Or well, the Final Fantasy series. Or at least the major ones. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. Um, I, have, I can't remember where he told me to go. Map. Alright, we don't want to go back to Hotto. Uh, Silvando, help me. Where do I go? Let 
have a nice little chat. West from Galopolis to checkpoints. Celestial Sands. Alright, got it. Ah, okay, excellent. We're not far from there. Dragon Quest 1 was out in 1986. Yeah, wow, that's really old. So when was Dragon Quest 11, the 2D version, first released? And what platform was it? Was it Super Nintendo? Yes, very old game. Very old. Let's get to this checkpoint. I try and, um, I like to overlevel and I try and do the battles off stream because, uh, watching someone do the same battles over and over again probably isn't the funnest thing to watch. Oh, I should really forge items. Uh, I'll do it. I'll do it off stream, I think. Um, that's until dawn. The 2D version of Dragon Quest XI was made after the, after the 3D version. Really? Wow. That surprises me. So, what year would that have been then? I think I'm heading in the right direction. Yeah, I am. Good, good. Halt, the Slayer of Sands is on loose. I cannot allow you to... Ah, you are the one who will be accompanying Prince Ferris, yes. A thousand pardons. His Highness has asked that you be instructed to go right on through. How did he beat us? They created it for the Nintendo Switch version. Okay, that I didn't know. I just thought... Wow, okay. But this game was on uh, a different system before Nintendo Switch, right? If I'm correct there and thinking that. See, look at this. You, can, you don't even have to do the random battles if you don't want to, which is great. Is this where I go in here? No. Dragon Quest XI went out first on the piss. Oh! Oh, okay. Why did I think that this was made years ago? Like, many years ago, not years ago. That sounds like two years ago, which is when it was released on Switch. I mean, like, many, many years ago. <laughs> oh, hello, Speedy. PS4, sorry. Oh, yeah, sorry. I, I read that as PS4 in my head anyway. <laughs> the heat, the dry air, it is too much, too, too much. Let us spend the night here. The monster will have to wait. You should have slowed down. There you are. Uh, as you can see, I have decided to set up camp. We will continue our quest in the morning. Dropping in for a bit, best boy made an appearance, yes. Yes! Yes! There he is! The best character that ever was! Tell me again if you don't understand something I say. I'm not very comfortable in English. Oh, really? No, no. You're making perfect sense to me. Your English is amazing. I would have had no idea. I probably That's won't right. make sense. You get your beauty sleep, Princey dear. You've got a hard day of getting us to do your dirty work for you to be preparing for. You should have you should have heard me reading the um the old the dialogue from um the the old English from the 2D version before. <laughs> that was terrible. Oh hello from um I'm from Australia. I'd love to go to France. Just to check it out and your f uh, the food there sounds like it'd be very good and I'm a big foodie your English is better than mine yeah your, your English is terrible then work on, Come on joking you. let's have a sit down and a nice chat shall we yes best character that ever was we need a nickname for the girls we've named uh, the main character Lucian Eric's magic harp Silvando's the best character that ever was Cut me real deep, so, Bonnie. Two boys I'm sorry. And two girls out I'm on joking. A lovely adventure together, huh? How romantic. But what kind of adventure, I wonder? Come on, spill the beans. 
<laughs> yeah, I know you're joking. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, we're none too sure ourselves just yet. But for the moment, we're trying to get to Yggdrasil. We need to understand more about the mystery surrounding the Luminary, you see? No worries, Daniel. Have fun playing Final Fantasy VII again. Thanks for the look. I personally prefer Japanese food. What food uh, from Japan do you like, Darkfire? It's all to do with a horrible being called the Dark One. He wants to bring death and destruction to the world. And we want to stop him. All of it. <laughs> they do have some pretty cool things there, don't they? Um, uh, I'm just trying to think of what uh, Japanese food I've had. I mean, there's sushi. Uh, oh, chicken teriyaki. I like that. But that sort of falls under sushi again, even though it's not fish. <laughs> um, okon okonomiyaki. What, what exactly is that? I'm um, not very... <sighs> I, I studied J Japan in high, uh, Japanese in high school for like uh, two years and I remember none of it. Cabbage seafood pancake. That sounds interesting. I'm hungry now. Oh, sorry, Darkfire. We talk about food a lot here. <laughs> Make us all hungry. Oh, hello, Chris. How are you? Thanks for stopping by. You're all going to make me hungry now. All right, big mouth. That's enough. You don't need to tell the Jolly Jester our whole life story. We barely know him. But he's the best character ever. My, 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 my. So there's a dastardly villain coming to steal all the smiles and laughter from the world. And you four heroes are on a daring mission to stop him before it's too late. Oh, now that does sound fun. Hmm. <laughs> You've got a strange idea of fun. I was going to say that. <laughs> what about you, Silvando? What made you leave home and set out on the road? You were skeptical a moment ago, and now you're all interested. Come on, Veronica. Oh, you don't want to hear my boring old stories. We've yes, we do. we got a big day ahead of us tomorrow. Come on, kitties. Betty buys. I have a League of Legend account that's named Silvando the best. <laughs> So, I'm not the only one who loves him to death. He's the best. There's a bit that happens in this game that is just so funny with him. I can't remember how far in it is, though, but it's just so funny. Well, aren't we full of mysteries? What's his deal? Who sleeps like that? Have you played Dragon Quest XI before? I have! I um, played up until you get um, all the characters, all the playable characters. And then um, I got a wrist injury and had to stop playing games for a long while. Um, but I thought uh, I'd start again and play it on stream because it's such a great game. And, you know, I'd like to encourage more people to play it because it's just so much fun. I actually have a friend who stopped um, watching it so they could play it, which is just so cool. That makes me happy. That's my mission. <laughs> yes, override the mission. Uh, the save file, not mission. So you didn't do one third of the game? Yeah, no. <laughs> I barely scratched the surface, but what I've... I've actually seen um, a bit more than I actually played, so I do know a bit more than what I've played. And I was watching someone play it and then I stopped because I wanted to catch up. I was playing along them playing as well and then I watched them a bit more when I stopped playing and I thought, oh, I'll stop. I want to play it myself and see the end. It's actually the only game I've ever played where I have refused to look up spoilers. Normally I get tempted, but not, not for this game. I actually want to play it, even if it will take me forever. But um, we're actually over time, guys. Uh, I'm afraid I'm going to have to stop, even though I'm keen to keep on going with our little game here and keep playing, with, uh, playing alongside Sylvando, the best character that ever was. 
but yeah, uh, thank you so much, everyone, for coming. Um, thanks for the follows and the lurks and the subs, just everything. It's been a real blast uh, playing tonight. Um, but now that we've got Sylvando, it will always be a lot of fun. No worries, Lars. Thanks, thanks for coming by. It was great to see you tonight. Um, we'll we'll raid Smallsy as per usual tradition for our um, Monday streams. I need to make more uh, nighttime friends on a Monday, but that's okay. I'm sure uh, Smallsy loves that I raid him so much. <laughs> No, no worries, Zoe. Thanks for coming by. And thanks for uh, dropping in, Darkfire. It was great meeting you as well. Uh, hope to see you uh, next time we stream um, Dragon Quest XI or in any of my streams, really. We'll be streaming again, not tomorrow, the day after, same time as usual. We'll be doing Final Fantasy IX, Episode 2, I believe it is. Uh, but let me get this raid ready and we'll go say hello to Smallsy. Uh, make sure you drop in and say hello. Um, I guess our raid message can be Sylvando is the best and that will confuse him. <laughs> uh, but yeah, thanks again everyone for coming. It's been great. Um, drop in, tell Smallsy that the best character is uh, Sylvando and I'll see you all Wednesday. And if not, have a great rest of your week. Thanks again everyone. Bye.